Hi, my name is Tyler Armstrong, and I'm a mountain climber. At just 12 years old, Tyler's story is quite amazing. He has already climbed 17 mountains all across the globe, setting a world record. I started climbing when I was um, about seven years old, and I just started climbing as, hey dad, I saw this documentary, and let's go try it. When Tyler first started climbing, I thought it was kind of a joke. I mean, what's, you know, six and seven year old wants to climb mountains, but, um, you know, he had this desire, and so I was like, okay, let's, let's see what you can do, and every day he proved me wrong. Like, he could run longer, climb further. It was just amazing watching him grow every day. I have done five of the seven summits, and first I did Mount Kilimanjaro at age eight, and then I did Mount Aconcagua at age nine, and then I went to Russia, and I did that at age 10, and that's Mount Elbrus, and then after that I did Mount Denali, which is the highest mountain where I live in North America, and then I just recently did Mount Kosciuszko in Australia, and that's number five. But his story doesn't end there. Tyler does all of this to help raise money to look for a cure for a disease called Duchenne. Duchenne is a muscular dystrophy that only affects boys. And there's about 300,000 boys that have it worldwide. And what it does is like when we work out, our muscles get bigger and stronger. What happens to them is it could just get smaller and smaller and doesn't grow back. And sadly, because the heart's a muscle, by the age of around 20 years old, the, um, the heart cripples and they sadly die. Well, I know a lot of people boys who have Duchenne, and I'm friends with three boys that actually live really close to where I live. My main goal is to cure Duchenne as one, and just really climb the seven summits. Tyler's plan was to climb Mount Everest this past summer. Unfortunately, the Chinese recently changed a law stating you must be 18 years old to climb a mountain that's over 8,000 meters. Now we're actually trying to get the permit again. We're trying again this year, so hopefully we can climb Mount Everest. If that doesn't happen, there's a couple more mountains and a couple goals I'm looking at as like climbing the highest mountain on each state or the Triple Crown, which is Mount Shasta, Hood, and Rainier. And then another one is we're going to Peru and climbing one of their mountains. So a lot of options if Everest doesn't happen. I enjoy climbing with Tyler very much. He, he makes it fun. Uh, it's taken me places in this world that I never thought I would get to go to. So it's kind of been a, an adventure for both of us and it's been a, you know, a dream spending that much time with my son. My workout plan is I work out twice a day for five days a week. And so what I do is I, in the morning, I wake up at six in the morning and put on my backpack, which is around 40, um, 40 pounds. And I walk on my treadmill for 30 minutes. And then after school, I either have soccer practice, football practice, or I go jogging with my dad. And then on the weekends, I have like soccer games and football games. So it's just a variety of things that can um, help me um, get to the top of a mountain. And I also do a core workout to help me with my back so I can carry heavy loads. Sometimes I have fundraisers, like when the Everest movie came out, we, um, we invited a bunch of people to come watch the movie with me. And that turned out great. And we had the people watch the movie Everest with us. And then we, we had catering and all that stuff. And then also when I'm on TV, I would ask um, people to help me raise a million dollars for Duchenne because I want to cure this disease. So hopefully my friends with Duchenne can climb with me someday. He's a, Tyler's an inspiration to others and he's an inspiration to my family and, and me as well. It's amazing watching somebody that young have such amazing goals and willing to work so hard to achieve those goals. Look up, Tyler, stand up straight. There you go. Okay, go. Okay, go.